Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you stopped by my channel today. So the holidays are upon us and for the next 12 days, I'm gonna be releasing a video tutorial on either a Christmas ornament or a Christmas decoration. So wherever you join me in this journey, I'm so glad you stopped by. And please subscribe to my channel, support my channel, and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. So stay tuned. Let's see where the 12 days of Christmas is taking us this year, and I hope you enjoy it. Crafters, are you ready for another project? This one is going to be another project using one of my bed springs. We already did a centerpiece with a bed spring, but this time we are going to add a snowman to this one. And so remember when I made my cute little gnomes back here and I said we were going to use the other part of that hat, or, or excuse me, the other part of that sock for a hat? We're going to be using that. We are going to be using one of the Dollar Tree large balls this time. We are going to be using a scrap bit of material. I grabbed a button out of my stash and I put together a little face using my Cricut that is gonna be my snowman face, okay? And then I'm going to use a little bit of twine and in this project we're going to be using paint. So let's get going making this cute little snowman using my bed spring. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to prep our ball and so I'm going to clip off the tag. I'm going to remove the topper and we're going to put glue on the inside. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in some glue, okay? I'm going to roll it around in there because we need a white snowman, okay? Might need to add a little bit more. I'm going to let it drain to you guys. So we don't need to necessarily be shy on the glue. Now you could have already bought a ball that is white, most definitely if you don't want to do this part of it. But it is fun just using these Dollar Tree ones. So let's go ahead and put the lid or the tag on top and let's do some shaking and see if I can get that paint to cover a little bit better. Almost there almost got it covered okay so i'm just gonna shake it got one piece that's being a little laundry okay there we are we've got our ball all covered okay and i'm going to turn him upside down just for a few minutes and let him drain just a little bit okay and you can see he excess is draining into my cup right now Okay, so I'm gonna let that drain for a minute. What I wanna do is I want to grab out some twine because that is going to be the top part or the part that I'm gonna hang this with, okay? So I'm gonna take my twine and I'm just going to tie a knot at the end of it, okay? So that we have a complete loop, okay? So we're ready to go with that part. Okay, then what I'm going to do is we're going to get out that excess okay. and we're pretty good there. Okay, you can let it drain longer if you want you guys, but just for the sake of us being able to get this done, I'm going to go ahead and grab it out and then I'm going to put the topper back on. Pop back on now okay so the top is on I'm gonna use my bed spring just as a base just make it nice and easy to work with okay so now before we add the hat 
we want to put our tie in, okay? So what I like to do is take my string that I had done, okay? And I am going to just pull that right up like that, okay? So now let's work on the face. And I'm gonna try to do this so we, I am facing you guys. The idea here is the snowman is gonna be kind of tilted back a little bit, okay? And so we are going to first let's add some eyes. Now I've already got these on transfer tape. If you guys don't have a Cricut or a um, Silhouette to be able to make these faces, you can definitely use paint to do it, okay? So I've got my eyeballs on. Okay, and then I, I also thought that this little guy needed some eyebrows. So I put together some eyebrows. Okay, add the eyebrows on. <laughs> He's getting the personality already, you guys. A little bit of my transfer tape stuck. Okay, so now let's add the nose. have to turn him towards me you guys just so I can make sure I get that mouth on straight but I'll show it to you as soon as I put it on oh my god he's so cute you guys okay so what do you think so far he is just a little cutie okay so now what we want to do is we want to add his hat and remember, we've got this sock left over from the other project. Now, this is the top of the sock, and that's what I want to be around his head. And then the opening is what we're gonna turn into the top. Now, the reason why we wanted to put this on first is we want that to come out the top. So this is, I'm making an ornament here, you guys, but I'm gonna display it on my um, bed spring. So you guys can do it either way, you guys could you know, leave it on the bed spring if you've got a bed spring, or we're gonna be able to hang this guy too, okay? So what I wanna do is I want to try to pull together my hat, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit more twine. I just love my twine container. I had the opportunity to go to Magnolia in Waco, Texas a couple years ago with my son's girlfriends and we had so much fun and this little twine container was one of my keepsakes from the trip so we had such a great girls trip down there. Definitely recommend if you guys have never been to Magnolia. It is so much fun. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and tie that right in like that. I got one part that was being ornery back here, so I'm gonna pull it around and give it another tie. Just gotta work it sometimes. Probably could have had my sock be just a little bit longer, but this one's gonna work. Okay, so now my little snowman has his hat. He can be hung if he needs to. And now he needs a little bit of decoration there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, in some of the other projects we've been doing, we've been using these cute little ornaments. So I'm gonna actually clip off that piece, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a dab of glue and we're gonna put that guy right on there, okay? To grab my glue gun here in a minute. What do you guys think so far? Isn't he cute? Okay, so what do you guys think? So cute. I'm gonna trim up where I tied on that one. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of glue on the back of this little um, felt mini ornament. And add that to my little snowman. <laughs> And he turned out cute, you guys. Okay, 
So now what I want to do is let's put him off to the side for a minute. And I think he needs a scarf. So that's what we're going to use my scrap piece of material. Now, give you guys an idea. How big is my material? My material is nine by nine. Okay. And it's literally a piece of scrap that I had. So I'm actually going to just fold that and just wrap it around just like that. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we are going to take it around the snowman. Okay. I'm going to put a dab of glue right there. Okay. So now our little snowman's got a scarf. And then I found this cute little button in my stash. And so all I'm going to do is add some glue to that, the button. And I'm going to press it right in the middle there of this scarf. And there we have it. How cute is that little snowman ornament? Now, the fun part about this, you guys, is if you guys don't have a bed spring, then guess what? We can hang him from the Christmas tree, okay? And he is a cute little snowman. You can dress him up all different ways, add different things to him. But I just thought it was really cute. You could do a whole family of snowman if you wanted and put those on a display on your mantle, at your entryway, however you want but I just thought this was a cute idea. So thanks so much for joining me for another 12 days of Christmas. Hope you're enjoying this series. And here's a close up of our cute little snowman. Thanks so much for joining me for this journey of the 12 days of Christmas. Make sure you leave a comment and don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY projects.